All right, looking at the S&P futures here on the six month with the volume profile on, we can see that the high volume node has finally moved to the 2095 area up here from the previous 2038 or so where it was. And we can also see that through this dip with these uh, two wicks down here, we've also moved another uh, volume node a little bit higher, giving support into the 2058s all the way down really into the 2050 area uh, with this little patch of volume. Uh, up a bit higher we can see the volumes built out from the 2087 range really all the way up into the 2101, 2102 area again with the high volume node sitting right there in the middle about the 2095 area. I expect price to test down into the high volume node just to make sure that it is a secure support uh, test price here and possibly push it down into the 87 range but I would expect to see a strong buying anywhere in this general area uh, and then with price breaking over the top of uh, this volume area to confirm a move higher uh, you could also use a break of the current downtrend uh, though I'm probably not going to be watching that uh, so again uh, I'll be watching this area the 87 to 95 range uh, to let off my puts and also to start buying calls uh, for uh, maybe the next leg higher uh, to test into maybe the 2159 area this 161.8 from the previous move obviously not all at once but we would probably expect to see resistance somewhere like this, the 2144, and then up into the 2160s for a final target uh, for this move. Uh, obviously, if we were to lose 2087, uh, this would uh, this plan would change. Uh, with downside targets, obviously we see there is a big volume null all the way down again into test to the 2060s. So if we were to lose 2087, uh, you would look for support in the 2080s and then again the 2070s and then the final down here in the 2060s with support really in 2060s and the 2050 range.